So what if I told you that there are police officers who have been caught stealing from a police union? And you might be thinking that is quite a ridiculous headline. But I assure you that these officers were just some hungry, hungry piggies. And they just wanted some green. A former Omaha police officer was moving drugs with two Omaha gangs. Now that's one of the new revelations servicing this afternoon in a case involving two former officers and a member of the Omaha City Council. That's terrible. Well, it's illegal, but very clever. Johnny Palermo, Rich Gonzalez, City Council Member Vinnie Palermo, and Jack Olson face multiple counts of wire fraud, conspiracy, and abusing the public trust. You're stealing right to jail. So this amazing story of police corruption begins in Omaha in Nebraska where you have four men who are being accused of siphoning money from police unions and police benevolence funds for their own gain. And that's very illegal. And just to remind you, the four men that are involved is Councilman Vinny Palermo, former Omaha police captain Rick Gonzalez, former Omaha police officer Johnny Palermo, and a civilian fundraiser whose name is Jack Olson. And mind you, the former Omaha police officer Johnny Palermo and Councilman Vinny Palermo have no relation except when it comes to being criminals because these four including the two police officers are accused of siphoning money from the Police Athletics for Community Engagement or PACE fund which was designed to give funds for sports activities for at-risk youth to keep them out of gangs and so if you see gangs and young people running around in Omaha in Nebraska you can thank these four men because they're there was a fund to keep those youngsters off the streets and out of street gangs but those funds were being used for all sorts of other things except for helping the community and these four also stole money from the latino peace officers association in omaha nebraska which basically means that you have two police officers and two other people but mainly the two police officers who were stealing from police officers and police unions terrible there's never honor among thieves. And these four, they spent this money on all sorts of things. And they had plenty of money because according to the indictments, they were stealing money that was donated to these organizations for years. And they spent that donation money on gambling, traveling around the country, and even securing some special favors from the women of this country, if you know what I mean. And so basically, they were overpaid mumble rappers with badges because they were spending money as if they had not stolen that money which means that they were behaving worse than what a criminal would behave because most criminals would know to not spend money as if you're living large when you're living dirty 